Hello and welcome to Dynamic Chart Data. My name's Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. We have an ordinary range of data. We go and we insert some type of chart and life is good. Now, what happens if we change the values? Well, if we change the values within the original range, the chart is updated as expected. So for example, if we change this to 100,000, that is reflected in the chart. So that is dynamic data. And that's built in and there's nothing magic about that, it just kind of works. What we're talking about in this video is what happens if we add a new row or a new data value. For example, admin assistant, 43329, hit enter, and that new value is not reflected in the chart. And that's what we're gonna address in this video. Now, the key to getting new values or new rows or new records inserted into the chart automatically is to use a table rather than an ordinary range. So these values are just stored in an ordinary range. What we wanna do is store them in a table instead. How do we do that? It's easy, we select any cell within the range and we go to insert table. Excel is gonna ask us to confirm the range and if our table has a header row, which ours does, so we just click OK. Now that our values have been stored in a table, now it's easy to create the dynamic chart. Now to create our chart, we select any cell within the range and insert, and we pick our chart type, and Excel inserts the chart, same as before. And just like before, if we were to change any value that's already in the table, the chart is updated accordingly. But this time, when we add a new value or a new row or a new record, for example, admin assistant, 43329, enter. <laughs> this time it's automatically included. And the reason this works is because as we add a new value or a new row immediately under the table, the table's dimensions automatically expand to include that new row. And that automatically is added to the chart. If you use Excel often, be sure to check out the seven time hacks video. This is a collection of seven time-saving techniques that I wish I knew years ago. And that's how to create a dynamic chart data source in Excel. Hey, hopefully this helps. Have a great day. This video is a production of Excel University. 